What? Yeah, what? Want to answer that? What is altruistic sex? Altruistic sex is when you wish others. <laughs> <laughs> Altruistic sex, I think you mentioned it already. To be intimate means you, you melt a little bit. You dissolve your surface tension. Mm -hmm. You dissolve a little bit into each other. Like two drops of water right. side by side. What's keeping them apart? Water is supposed to flow. Why are they sitting there like two bumps on a log? <laughs> because of surface tension, right? What will it take to break that tension? Almost nothing. Mm -hmm. Just breathe on it. Right? A couple, a married couple, being intimate are breaking the surface tension, at least for a moment. Sh dissolve a little bit. Melt a little bit. Surrender some of your surface tension. It's a good word, the, the word surrender, because it is the one thing. Pe people come to me with sexual problems, obviously, and part of that is their inability to surrender. So at the root of a lot of these issues is that inability to surrender. Or, I've, or, I've yeah. seen the same thing, and it looks like they don't really believe they should. Nobody ever said surrender. They said, get what you can. Get the yeah, most no. out of the relationship. So, I think people just need to be told, surrender is a good idea. Mm -hmm. Like being vulnerable is a good idea. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Stop being afraid of it. It's natural. Let go a little bit. And you will find yourself merged into this thing called marriage, because you're both dissolving. That is an incredible bonding, and you will never feel alone again. You may feel angry, but you have someone to be angry at. You may, you may miss your spouse, you have somebody to miss. And even, to get a little bit off the subject, even when a spouse passes away, and the surviving spouse says, now I'm all alone. No, you're not. You're haunted. They haven't gone away. The spouse is still in your life. Not in your space, but in your life. You're not alone. In fact, all you ever do is talk about your mm -hmm. spouse. I like that. Like, not in your space, but in your, in your life. Yeah, it's good. So the mystics were not living with their head in the clouds. They just saw life as being special. They were not ignorant of life. They just had a more beautiful vision of it, which turns out to be very practical. Mm -hmm.